Wait, from like the top top or top, just like top. when you say? Top top, all the way from the top. Right. One big shot. Okay. No stopping. Rolling. Ready? Yep. What's up everybody and welcome back to another edition of The Dig, a series dedicated to helping you improve profitability on your farm. I'm Aaron and this is Colin and today we're out here in the Atlanta, Indiana PFR farm. We're going to highlight just a couple of the studies that Colin and I are really excited about this year. And with that, let's dig in. You know, Aaron, biologicals, they've really started ramping up here in the last couple years. Yeah. Tell them about some of our favorite ones, including one right here. Yeah, so like Colin mentioned, we're testing quite a few different biological products now in PFR, and that's in corn and soybeans both. But the one that I would say we are most excited about is the one we're standing in front of. So that's our Pivot Bio Proven 40 study. So when we do think about biologicals and the whole biological realm of products out there, I would say Pivot Bio is up there and being one of the biggest hot topics right now in agriculture. So we're really excited to be testing this this year. So we're gonna be looking at uh, reduced nitrogen rates with and without Pivot Bio, and then also our, norm, our normal standard practice of 60 units, two by two by two at the planter and 130 units uh, come back side dress. So replicated four times out here, really excited to get some good quality data out to growers this year on Pivot Bio. Let's go check out some bean plots. All right, we'll do that. Colin, what uh, what plot's that? That is Utricia. Wrong bean plot. We're not, not there, there yet. yet. All right. Okay. Oh, what did you do? It's all right. It's a it's standing back up. Yeah, he'll be. You okay, bud? Just, just, we'll get some zip ties. Yeah. You won't even notice. He'll be yeah, enough. It's good. Perfect. Ah, right there here. we go. Yeah, here we are. All right, Colin. Now that we have found the right plot, mm -hmm. what are we standing in front of? What we got going on yeah. here? So this is the ground versus drone study. So we're looking at fungicide at that R3 growth stage. You know, we promoted that R3 growth stage for years and years, mm -hmm. but now we got to figure out how can we be more profitable, okay? So with, whether that be just with our ground rig or if I have a spray drone, what's better? Am I better off to just keep just keep doing what I'm doing with my spray with my ground rig? Or can I maybe invest in a one of those drones or spray drones and maybe be a little bit more profitable? We're not running over rows. You know, it's a lower, it's a lower carrier rate, but we're just kind of comparing that ground rig versus that drone to see what's profitable. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I'm excited about that because yeah. the drone sprayer thing is really taken off. It too. is really taken off here in the last couple of years. Nice. Well, that's a couple of studies that we're both excited about. Short, sweet, to the point. Yep. Just wanted to get you guys a couple of interesting topics to get you excited about what we have going on out here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and catch us again on another episode of The, the Dig. Dig. Bye. Did we do that? That was one cut. That never no, happened. Not the first time. Kind of, sort of. Is this too loud for you? Oh, it's perfect. Is that good? Yeah, yeah I like that. Good. What's up, you jabronis? So was I talking like this before, but now I'm just talking like this? Say it the second way, yeah. This way, just like this? Yes. Okay. Hey, Ready? Uh, wait a second. The, the water, water 